Um, hello, my name is Ana Laguna. I'm data scientist and co-founder co at Soundring, a startup specialized on analyzing uh, baby cries, not only from the point of view of needs or emotions, but also regarding um, early detection of uh, specific pathologies or, or atypical neurodeve neurodevelopments on our newborns. Um, well, so let me introduce me a little bit more uh, myself. Um, I'm I'm 33 years old, uh, a mom of two wonderful kids of one year and a half and three, and three years. Um, well, I, I started my first degree at Granada University. I started studying uh, translation and interpreting. Uh, it's true that uh, since the high school, uh, since high school, um, I was a very good student and I didn't know going through science or humanities. But well, in my book, like 15 years ago, it seems that uh, studying languages was much better than studying maths uh, because at the end it seems that you just could be like a, a high school professor, even if it's not true at all. So, well, I finished studying languages, um, but well, hopefully uh, during, during my third year of, of studies, um, I, I go abroad uh, one year. Uh, at Saarbrücken University in, in Germany. So I was studying there for a year and I discovered something amazing. And it was that uh, compared to, to, to what, what I saw in Spain during my, during my uh, first three years, um, in Germany or other countries abroad, people studied several disciplines, not only uh, humanities or science, but uh, I met so many people studying, for example, uh, uh, sports and economics, in my case, languages and statistics, so it was that's amazing because on my, third, on my third year, I started discovering what translating was, and I really didn't like it too much, right? So discovering this multidisciplinary uh, world, it was amazing for me because um, in Spain it was not possible, as we can say. Um, so well, I finished my, my degree and I moved to Paris. I have the opportunity to, to do an internship in a wonderful company called uh, C-Labs. They were working especially on artificial intelligence and natural language processing. And there were a, a person there, a co-founder uh, called Elena Blancafort, that really inspired me because she was also a translator, but he re she reoriented um, her career to, to computer scientists. Um, so, so computer science. So, so she was, um, so she was uh, working as um, kind of translator, well, not really translator, but a computer scientist with knowledge on, on, on languages, we can say. So, well, I started working for an European project where we were, where we were um, um, trying to, to build a, a machine translation algorithm. So both the skills, the languages, the statistics, or, or math, they were like very important, right? So I love, uh, I love this job and I, I was sure that I wanted to, to focus on, on this for my professional career. So I study again um, in Paris. Um, and well, after two years working for, for C-Labs, uh, working with especially with, with text, then I, I, I was a little bit tired of working all the time with, te with text. So I moved to another company, another startup, working with web cookies. Um, and well, after these two years, like more or less five uh, years in Paris, I was like very tired of the rain and I wanted to come back to Spain. So I started working at VVVA. At, at this period, uh, it was one of the first companies looking for data scientists, so that was great for me. Um, and, and well, it's true that at the beginning I was thinking, maybe it's gonna be like very complicated to find a job in Spain because we are not very used to, to this multidisciplinary um, a profile, we can say, or, or reorientation uh, profile. Um, but well, I start working. I, I think that they didn't pay so much attention to my education, but to my skills, and that was huge. So after five years working at BBVA, in this case with bank transactions, um, well, as you can see, I will start working with text, um, then with web cookies, and at the end with bank transactions. But the key is that all the, the data was the only, the only difference. 
um, the algorithms behind were more or less the same. And that was amazing because you realize that you can apply artificial intelligence to a huge amount of, of, of ideas or, or data, right? So, well, it was at DBVA and it was during my first maternity leave, actually, with my first uh, baby, that I have the idea of, mm, of, of applying uh, artificial intelligence um, to, to Christ, actually. So, well, I think this idea came up basically uh, for two reasons. First of all, first of all, uh, because um, uh, I, I, I was I, 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 I was mom for the first time in my life, right? So you are a little bit concerned. It's not you are not really uh, afraid, but uh, you think, okay, I'm, I'm going to be able to understand my baby. If I'm, I'm going to be able to cover his needs. Um, so well, this is one side, but the other side is that I was a data scientist with with a with a professional experience. So I knew that um, we were already applying artificial intelligence in order to try to translate um, bird, bird sounds or whale sounds. So why not trying to apply these same algorithms to our newborns? So well, I start um, collecting cries of my baby when he was around uh, two months. And after several uh, analysis, data analysis, I discovered that I saw, I saw some, some, some patterns actually on the data, and that was amazing. So when I, have, uh, when I had my second uh, child, one year and a half, I redo again, I re I redid again the, the, um, the experiment, we can say, because at the end it was like a hobby. And I realized that, again, I was, I was confirming the pattern that I saw with my first child. So well, I tried to extrapolate it, and instead of doing, ja doing this just with my, my two childs, because they could be a bias, of course, on my own child. I did it with a lot of friends and family, and then we opened it um, to the market. So, well, it was amazing because all the discovering that I was, that I appreciate at the very beginning, and, and like five years ago, um, they are confirmed uh, when I listen more and more cries of other families, of other babies. And now we are even validating all those insights with, uh, of course, uh, uh, scientific references on, on the literature uh, related with, with, the, with pediatrics or neuro, neuropsychologists. Um, and, and you really see that they are, it's, it's like a kind of pre-speech they are trying to communicate uh, with us, right? So this is the, the beginning of Soundring. Um, um, this is basically, um, what we are trying to do, so translate, translating this uh, baby needs and emotion. But it's, so, it's even more interesting because uh, during all these years listening to Christ, we can say, we have also discovered more things and also working with, with our clinical advisors, hospital and so on, that you can even uh, try to detect uh, other things, um, as I say at the beginning, on those cries, like for example, uh, the cries from, from, from high risk uh, babies uh, of autism, they, so, they sound rougher, so they, they are different. So that could be great if we are able in a couple of, of years to, to try to diagnose together with only, on many other features um, autism on our newborns, because at the end you just uh, detect it uh, when they are like two or three years old, so sometimes it's too late. So well, this is basically uh, the, the job that we are doing, doing, doing at Soundring, and I, it's my passion. I really love it. So why do we think that our work is that relevant? Uh, there are several reasons, right? But one of them is that um, we are a, a digital generation. We're a generation very used to, to use this, this kind of uh, technological devices. Uh, so many people already have Google, um, uh, Google Home, uh, Alexa, or, and, and we are completely stuck to, to our um, mobile devices the whole day, right? So, well, uh, for example, you can, you can use Google Maps if you go to one place to, to another, like a support, even if you know um, the way. Um, and, and, and Soundry's technology is similar to this. We do not try to replace the instinct of a mother or, or a father. Uh, we just try to be a support on these uh, very first days when you are like confused, you don't really know what to do with your baby, and, and it's, they are like a, very beautiful but complicated days, right? Um, so, well, your baby will start crying, and, and you know that your baby is hungry, also because you have the, the milk let down. 
Uh, but what at the meantime, you look at this little device and you see that uh, this device also confirms that your baby is, is hungry, right? So it's, it's a kind of support. Uh, you feel even more, more comfortable. Um, so this, this is one reason. Another reason is that, um, well, there will be a, a baby boon also. Uh, so, so from, from numbers on the, from, from on the market, uh, on the market uh, it will be great, I really think, after, after this pandemic. Uh, but also, um, um, we, have, we start having our first baby uh, later. So we are getting parents uh, almost close to, to, to 40, like I can say, no? between 30 something and, and 40. So we wait a lot for this moment and we, have the, we want the best for our babies. Right? So the more things, the more stuff, the more devices, the more help you have to really um, uh, help you on this, on this new period, the best. So most of our families um, love to have this device because of this. They already have the baby monitor um, and, I don't know, 30 things on, on, the, on the room of the baby. And, and this will be another support, right? Well, I'm um, fully convinced that the alliance okay. uh, between artificial intelligence and health is going to be crucial during the, 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 the future years, right? And, well, on one hand, is basically because we do a lot of improvements concerning the algorithms of artificial intelligence during the last years regarding computer vision, language, etc. Um, but all those applications could have a huge impact on health, right? So I discussing with several doctors um, uh, some, some months ago, um, they told me that uh, in order to, to be afraid of these uh, new algorithms or artificial intelligence um, models, um, they are trying to integrate them on the everyday life like a support, like, like for us, for the new, with the newborns, right? So uh, just to, to provide a couple of examples um, on, the, on the prostate uh, cancer, uh, just doing a, a, a very simple exploratory analysis, they realized that age was a, a factor very important on this prostate cancer. So just, just sending a letter uh, or, a com or a communication to those patients with a specific age and telling them to go to, to pass a, a, a medical test uh, will save not only money, that is also very important for, for, the, for, the, for the system in a country, but the most important, we are saving um, lives, right? So this is an example on, 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 on this kind of cancer, but um, I also realized that applying all the, all other kind of uh, predict, uh, prediction algorithms, um, we can try to mix a lot of characteristics, not only from the patient, but from the environment, and be, a be able not only to, to personalize or, or to customize a, a treatment, for example, in cancer, but to, of course, to predict in advance and, and save so many lives. So let me finish now with some messages uh, concerning my experience that I'm sure could inspire you if you are looking for, for building a company or, or you have a, a wonderful idea that you want to show to the, to, the, to the world, we can say. Um, so, well, first thing is, please uh, do not be alone, because it's very sad to be alone. Uh, it's not going to be an easy way, uh, but if you are with other people, it's going to be much easier. So, this is the first message, so having a, a, a nice uh, network and, and also a nice team to work with. So, there are going to be difficult moments and they are going to be much better if you are with someone else. Um, and other messages are that uh, you need to really feel patient for what you are doing and you really need to trust on your idea on, on, and on your project. So even if there are like dark days, they will be away because you are combined that what you are doing is going to be great and it's going to help a lot of people. And I think this is the more, the more, relevant, uh, uh, the more relevant thing for me at least, so, to feel that you are helping uh, our society and, and, and you are contributing a little bit more to, to do our society a little bit better or, or a better world. So, so, of course we can and you also can, so go ahead. We can go together too. Uh, well, thank you very much. I really hope you, you, you enjoyed the talk and, and I could inspire, inspire you. Thank you. <laughs>